Hey guys, what's up? So I've got <laughs> a delightful treat for you all. I am going to share with you some hilarious pictures from my Facebook. I suppose you could call it a reacting to old photos video. So I've gone through my Facebook and I found 20 of the most hilarious pictures that I can find of me absolutely loving myself sick between the ages of, uh, well, I think the first photo is when I'm about 11 years old up until I'm about 17, 18 years old, so... I'm embarrassed, but I'm also not. So the first photo we're going to start with is this absolute delight. <laughs> so this is a picture of me at about 11 years old. This is the skater phase. You can see the these awful, this awful long hair. Awful. There's absolutely nothing of me. I look awful. That is hideous. <laughs> so this photo is from my 16th birthday. Brand new t-shirt, New York Yankees t-shirt. The classic, the classic sepia filter on there. Brilliant, absolutely fantastic. What was that look about? What was I looking at? <laughs> so stupid. Oh wow, this is delightful. So this picture is probably at about 10 o'clock at night in maybe February. So cold weather, probably wasn't even sunny but it was night time anyway, and I'd just gone from a hair that actually you'll see in a later picture is kind of, not long, but kind of longer and brown, and I wanted to do something really different, so I dyed it blonde. One of many times I've dyed it blonde. Okay, this is a delightful, delightful picture. So this picture is from just after I left school at 16. As you can see, I'm really loving myself sick in this picture. I had this massive, massive bedroom with these uh, this big double wardrobe with mirrors on it, and I absolutely loved it. You're going to see it a couple of times. If you look at my hand, you can actually see a pen in the hand that's under here. Like, this is a pen. However, this picture was ruined for me because a friend commented on it saying, the reflection of the light in the mirror looks like a tie around my neck. It was fuming. It completely ruined the picture for me and I thought it was a great picture. <laughs> so as you can see, this is another picture from that mirror. You can kind of see the wardrobes from it. And this is me in my dancer stage, like I really saw myself as a serious dancer at this point. And would take these kind of pictures wherever I went, whenever I could. I was quite something. Again, another picture from this mirror, and I and I remember what I was doing as well. I was playing PlayStation at the time, I was playing Grand Theft Auto. I thought it was the most wonderful photo. It's one of the only times I'd ever like smiled in a picture at this point. And I thought it was great, I thought it was the best thing. And I, I, it went, it was like my Facebook profile picture for like three or four different times, like, as I was skimming through it, I was like, oh god, that photo again. <laughs> ah, classic moody face. <laughs> Why? It's like there's old, like, webcam photos, like, so awful. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this. Tragic. <sighs> so this photo, as you can tell, and many of these photos are the ever-changing evolution of Jackie's awful hair, and this stage was when I apparently grew a bob, <laughs> and it's disgusting. But this is what my hair was like before I dyed it blonde. So that's what I was talking about earlier. Again, another delicious picture of me thinking I'm a very serious dancer. And this was when I was, well, I, I was at sick form, and we had an assessment. I don't even know how these kind of photos came about now. Like, at what point was I like, okay, well I'm gonna put my leg over my head and you're gonna take a picture, and this is gonna be great, and now I'm, then I'm gonna put it on Facebook. What on earth was I thinking? <laughs> Back to the big mirror. This, I actually remember, was about two or three o'clock in the morning. I couldn't sleep. So naturally, I decided I was going to put on a shirt, tie, and a waistcoat, and I was going to have a photo shoot. And I took a ton of photos. I don't know what this is about. Ah, <sighs> This is in a new house with a blonde. I kept the blonde for a while. I think I had the blonde for about six months. But look how big it is. That's probably the most amount of hair that I've ever had. That is crazy, absolutely crazy. <sighs> this is like a mixture between dancer phase and blonde phase, overlapping. But this is also when I, the beginning of my two year stint working at McDonald's. That's right, I started at McDonald's. And we'd finished work and another photo shoot was happening apparently. So I decided to do a split on top of my friend's car. Why? Again, blonde dancer phase. This picture actually came up on Facebook not so long ago, someone commented on it, and then because one person commented on it, like all my friends commented on it, 
and I was embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. And also notice the musical theatre t-shirt. Wicked. God, I was cringy. Okay, so this is sick form. This is again the post blonde hair. A pre blonde hair, sorry. And I lived in that jumper and that scarf. I wasn't even out at this point, but I clearly was trying to make some form of statement. Oh my god. My friend Alex is gonna absolutely kill me if she ever sees this video. This picture is from, I think it was my last dance show. And the show opened with a big Lion King section. So that's Alex as a flamingo and me as a lion. No, leopard. Oh my god, I can't even tell. Tragic, that hair. The worst thing about it was the next section was Billy Elliot and I was the only boy in the school and I every night forgot to like flatten my hair down again. So I had this massive like electrocuted hair. Awful. <laughs> okay, now we're getting into the college days. So this was the first flat party that we'd had in my apartment when I moved to London. And as you can tell, I was quite the state. We played a game called Ring of Fire where, to be honest, I can't really remember the rules of the game, but basically it ends up that jug was in the middle of the table and whatever happens, like people were like pouring bits of their drink into it to create this mix that then the loser had to drink. And of course that loser was me. Wow. Ah, this picture is uh, when I was at college, but I'd gone home for something I can't really remember. It must have been at the beginning of term before I, because I got my hair cut. I don't know, loving myself sick, aren't I? I think I'm trying to give you this like flexed bicep feeling too. <laughs> Oh, we're back to the uh, big mirror. So this is a few years before again. And I just taught myself to do this. I thought it was, again, the best thing in the world. I've probably got about four pictures of me doing this in different places. This is still my party trick. I can still do this. Just my stomach isn't as flat. <laughs> this was a clearly very lonely time for me. I took a lot of pictures in this room. This was when I first got like a good laptop. I had this like Acer laptop. <laughs> The camera, a webcam on it, and it had like these filters. And I thought this was amazing. I just thought I looked great in this picture. But like, what is this face? I feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> ah, and finally, this is the last picture. This is me at sick form. This is the blonde stage, but it kind of it wasn't as it wasn't like as blonde at this point as you can see. But it was kind of like it's quite long still. God, I used to have so much product in my hair that was like pure. It was this like, it wasn't like a wax, it was like a putty, a white putty. My hair would just be like greasy with it. I put so much in because I wanted to look like, I wanted to look like Alex Pettifer. <laughs> I'd found a picture online where he had this like blonde kind of like surferish hair, like kind of a little bit long, kind of the same length as this, but it was like, it had like product all over it and. I was like, that's what I'm gonna do with my hair. So that's what I was trying to achieve with this picture. But yeah, so that's some great memories of some awful, awful pictures of me thinking that I am just the best thing on earth, which is hilarious. It's a good job I'm not embarrassed easy, isn't it? Anyway guys, if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel. But until next time, we'll see you soon.